Hey babe, this is my wig transformation video how to turn this synthetic messy ass hot mess of a wig into this. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be transforming this stupid ass ratty mess. Um, this is what she looks like. She's been through a lot. She's been with me throughout the years. I think e yeah girl, she was one of my first lace friends, she was like 30 pounds from eBay and um, I'm gonna be transforming her for you today. So the reason why this wig be looking the way that it is is because I put it in braids and like I added hair to it and this is how it looks like now so let's see if I can transform her. I'm just gonna section everything. Cool, so what you're gonna need are some straighteners and you're also gonna need mane and tail detangler and also brush. You don't really wanna be brushing out that hair all together you want to do it in sections and uh, it's kind of good if you want to wash the hair first if like it's got a lot of product inside like you know like hairspray and stuff or whatever so you just want to do inch sections like this you just want to do it in little bits because if you go with a lot then um, it's not really gonna work let me take out all of these Scragglies. So you want to spray this, not too much, and just start from the bottom and go up. You want to set your straighteners, kind of a low setting, I'm putting mine on 160, just because I don't want to go too hard because I don't want to burn the hair off. You definitely want to make sure that you're using heat safe hair though, if it's a synthetic wig. I'm just going to go from the top and using my brush. I'm just going to be running the brush with the straighteners. You want to go as close to the root as possible. You want to especially focus on the ends because they're a little bit more frizzy at the end, so you just want to straighten the frizz. So yeah, you can see there, it's all straight, and we're going to fix her later on. So this is one half done, and this is the other half. So I still need to fix this half. This took me about this took me about 20, 25 minutes to do one half. So it's not too bad. Section and spray. Brush from the bottom to the top. Section one inch and straighten. Okay, so now that she's all straightened, she looks so nice, she looks so sleek. She ain't gonna be looking like this, I don't want her looking like this. So I'm going to sort out the parting. I'm gonna do a side part, a deep side part. And I'm gonna tweeze out some hairs there because she'd be looking a little bit too tight up in there and I want the part to show. So I'm just using some tweezers to pick out and tweeze the hairs so that the parting looks a lot wider. So now you can see 
that there is a bigger parting space now, um, which is a good thing. Let me just pluck off this last few hairs. Just gonna look a lot more natural and look like there's actually a scalp there. You also can do your hairline, because look, that was really super harsh if you can see that. So you just wanna mimic a hairline. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal and just run over the lace with some concealer just to make it look a lot more natural and a lot like my scalp colour. Also, by the way, you want to cut off some split ends if you have any, and you just do that by using some hair scissors and cutting them away downwards. I am going to add some baby hairs to this wig. So you just want to part off the tiniest bits of hair with your tooth comb. Just part little bits of hair. You want to use one of these thinning shears. Gluing this wig down, what you want to do is just put your wig cap on. If you've got darker skin, you want to paint the wig cap with some foundation of your scalp colour. In the end, I'm just going to plap the wig. On. Okay, once you've got the wig on, you just want to pull it back. And then you want to get some got to be glued hairspray and you just want to just spray that a little bit. I'm going to be using my got to be glued gel. You can use the ultra one, which is the clear one if you want. And I'm just going to use this smudge and I'm just going to apply that to my hairline. In circular motions like this. I'm gonna use my Babyliss hair dryer and just on the cool setting, just make it dry a little bit, just to make it a little bit tacky. And then pull your wig forward. I'm just going to use my toothbrush and you can use a styling gel, um, edge control or some mousse to lay down the baby hairs. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I actually, mm, let me not have like lipstick on my teeth. Let me just like show you my shoulder glow, you get me? Mm, yes. I've just done my makeup and I haven't done my makeup in so long. This is the final look, you guys. And I love it so much. I'm looking at the viewfinder looking like, ah, ah, is that me yet? Is that you? Is that you? Oh my days, I'm so excited. I have not done my makeup. I haven't done my makeup for so long um, and not look, you know, slaying because I've had like a beard for like two months um, so this is so cool, I love it and this hair is not too shabby too um, so if you love hair tutorials then please give this video a thumbs up I will be posting every Friday and every Sunday here on this channel so please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified because so that you can watch my new videos as soon as they come up um, but yeah every Friday and Sunday at 5 30 UK time and you guys just I was just eh. But yeah guys, this is the final look and I hope that you enjoyed it. Bye guys!